But I think for my generation now, like I was at my best friend Flossie's wedding uh, not long ago, I was maid of honour, and her dad was just wonderful. So much so, she, he was miles better than the best men. Like, yeah. literally, and a lot of the time they are, they though, are, aren't yeah. they? Because I think sometimes people go on the internet and just kind of fill in the gaps with the name, and you yeah. kind of don't want that. But I think, for me personally, like, my dad would be so nervous. I think it is with industry people that, like, they want to be funny. But I think, you know, you just never know. If my, like, with me, my mum wouldn't be there at my wedding, and I find that kind of hard in the sense of, you know, what I'd want the day to be. So I think I'd kind of maybe go away to get married rather than yeah. put my dad through that. That's and, what I feel yeah, like, because I lost my dad pressure. in 2007, and I think a lot of girls think, oh, God, my dad's going to really embarrass me, and, oh, God, he doesn't know what to say, and they don't want to put him under pressure. And I probably am a bit responsible for that, but I have to say I would give anything for my dad to be at my wedding yeah. and to stand up and just tell me he loves me in front yeah. of everyone. It gets me all emotional mm. because yeah. you don't realise until it's taken away, like, actually, how important that is. Mm. And when I read yeah. that about Megan, I thought... She doesn't realise how lucky she is that her dad's here yeah. and that he should just get up and say yeah. something. Even if she does make a speech, yeah. like, he should really get up and say something. Because that is... It's about the daughter and the yeah. father and giving yeah. her away. And that's what a wedding is to me. Forget about all this yeah. royal and the show. It's, that is such a moment between yeah. a father-daughter.